Okay, uh, so this part of the video, uh, we're going to focus uh, on the creation of a new uh, glossary term in, in Perview. Now, I've already created a workflow uh, in the uh, uh, for the approval process itself, and what I'm going to do is, as I take you through the creation of a new term, I'm going to switch back to the workflow from time to time to show you uh, what, what, what is happening in the back end. Now, the, as I create a new term, it gives me the option of using a system default term template or using one that I've created earlier. So I'm going to switch back to the fallback on the one that I've created earlier and then uh, press continue, at which point it you know, brings up the term template and then uh, brings up the sections that I have to fill in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to put in something called the customer uh, contact points, okay? And what I mean by contact points is everything, uh, all the channels that are called customer contact channels, uh, all the channels that I can use to contact the customer, right? Like email, Twitter, etc., etc. email, telephone, Twitter, and direct mail, anything else that I can use. Now, what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to have customer address, uh, as a parent of this or maybe I'm just going to fall back on customer customer as a parent of this and I'm going to say that you know uh, so far as the acronym goes uh, these are contact points channels you know and just uh, uh, an extra bit of information there things like on customer emails um, customer Twitter handles Or maybe I'm probably starting to go overboard a little bit. So we leave it there. Uh, it uh, expects you to fill in uh, some more attributes, you know, as part of the term template. So I'm going to say that, you know, okay, okay, what I'm expecting out of this is email, telephone. As a telephone, I'm going to say mobile, just a little bit more specific there. And then when it comes to the contacts, you know, because we're introducing a new term template and the workflow also requires that I set up a steward. Because if I do not set up a steward, based on the fact, based on the manner by which I've set up the workflow, uh, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go up for approval. So when I select on a steward, and I say, of course, you know, it's, it's coming up as a steward anyway, uh, customer steward, data steward. Put an extra bit of information. And then I submit this for approval. Now, when I submit this for approval, what really happens is that, you know, even if I refresh the screen, remember I said customer um, contact points, right? And it doesn't come up. Now, what is happening in the back end is because I've created a new workflow, uh, it is going to go to the stewards for approval, right? So if you look at this authoring workflow that I've created, the one that is brought into effect is this, uh, the creation of a new glossary term. And if I expand this, you know, it is going to go for an approval and the approval is going to go out to the term stewards. And if all the conditions are met, then of course, uh, it is going to get approved, right? Now, I'm starting to wear different hats. I've submitted the uh, customer contact, the, the, the new term for approval. Uh, let me uh, become the workflow, you know, the, the uh, the administrator and find out all the workflows that are in process and I can see that this uh, specific uh, introduction of this new glossary term is up for approval. If I expand this a little bit uh, what I'm going to see is that uh, it's taking a little bit of time to come up but what you'll see is that specific workflow that we saw earlier and uh, some of these have been highlighted as completed there will be others that will be set yeah this one has been highlighted as completed that you know which effectively means that a term creation request has been submitted and it has gone up for an approval. Now, let, let us wear the approvers hat and then come back to this process, get into the process. We see that, you know, there is one action that is still pending for my input, right? You know, and it says that, you know, you, well, you have to approve and reject this one. So we open this one and it says that, look, something has been created. Uh, customer contact channels have been created uh, as a child of customer. 
and it is waiting for your response uh, you know either an approval or a rejection response so that it can continue with the remaining part of the process once we approve this and you know it's for clarity i say approve and i confirm my choice and what really happens is that the term gets approved when the term gets approved uh, if i go back to the workflow runs it will see that it has been completed good it has it sees it has been completed uh, which means it has gone through the process and then if i go back to the glossary terms and find out what has happened with my glossary of course i need to refresh this it still shows the old format the old screen uh, the old terms that were that were out there if i refresh this if you can see out here uh, it has come up as a child of customer right so we've got customer we've got customer address which is a child one of the chi uh, one of the children of customer and we've got customer contacts which is a child of customer address and then you've got customer contact channels which is another a child of customer so it has the process has been completed a new term has been introduced has gone through the workflow it has been approved by the steward uh, depending upon you know how the workflow was set and it has come up and been introduced as a new term uh, into the system okay good